So this is what it's come to. And this is the direction they're going. Welcome back to Addiction TV. I hope everybody is having a good day. So the time has finally come. <coughs> Excuse me. My most anticipated movie of the year. I watched it Friday night. I had a little watch party. You know what I'm saying? And this video is going to be my review for Halloween Ends. I was so excited for this movie. And like I said, y'all know this was my most anticipated movie of the year. And I was going to do this video, this review, uh, a little different. What I was going to do, like I said, I threw a Halloween Ends watch party at my house on Friday. And uh, it was a quite, quite a bit of people here, real close friends. Um, now, what I was originally going to do to start this review off is I was going to get every last one of their opinion. Without spoilers on if they liked it. You know, were they in the middle? Did they hate it? But, unfortunately... Quite a few of my friends are camera shy, so that just didn't happen. So we're going to go ahead and do it with just me. This will be spoiler free, even though it's Tuesday and the movie's been out since Friday. We're going to keep it spoiler free because my next video is going to be full of spoilers because we're going to talk about what I liked and what I disliked. And before we do this review, if you haven't already, go down, grab the like button, grab the subscribe button. That would be dope. So I want to start off by saying this about this film, you know. The final Halloween in the Blumhouse, David Gordon Green trilogy, Halloween Ends is the title, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people, this movie's been getting a lot of hate. I saw all the hate before I even watched the movie. And I don't go off of what other people say, what they think, you know. I'm going to watch it with, for myself with an open mind. And I did it. I've watched it twice now to be prepared for this review and I will go ahead and say this I don't think Halloween Ends deserves all the hate that it is getting they make choices in this film that's really pissing off hardcore fans I'm a hardcore fan and they made choices in this movie that I didn't like but overall I think it's a pretty good movie it's just not a great Halloween movie and that's why I think people don't like it. I There's worse than this in this franchise, I promise you that. But everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Now I want to say, the way this movie was shot, it was beautiful. And the cinematography, it, it was great. Um, the acting was actually pretty cool. And there's this new main character you all know, I'm sure. His name's Corey Cunningham. And, you know, the movie does revolve around him a lot. Um, and that's pretty much all I can say about him without giving any spoilers. And they made some choices with the shape. They made some choices with Michael that really pissed off fans. And I will say, I'm not the hugest fan of some of the choices they made with Michael. I was like, really? We're, we're doing that? We're doing that? And then going back the second time and watching it, sober because I was at the it was a watch party Friday so I was wasted and then going back and watching it sober some of these choices they made with Michael I was like okay I'm kind of I'm okay with this but some choices I was like oh no 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 let's not do this you know when it comes to Lori and Allison you know I think they're doing a pretty good job of uh they did such a great job with Lori, I think, for this film in particular. She's not the same Lori that we've seen in 2018 and in Kills. She's moved on. She no longer is worried about the boogeyman. She celebrates the holiday of Halloween. You know, she's making pumpkin pies. She's carving pumpkins. She's celebrating the holiday. You know, she's encouraging Allison to go to Halloween parties. And, you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to spoil too much, so I should probably slow down a little bit before we get too spoilery. But, um, Jamie Lee Curtis, she killed it, as always. Um, Andy Matichak, she did a good job. The actor playing Corey, he was, he was good. James Jude Courtney is the shape. <laughs> mm, so much to say, but like I said, this is spoiler free. 
Um, he was good, of course. You know, he's been the shape for the, all three of these movies, and he's doing a good job. Um, and a cameo in there by Nick Castle. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is, but I think y'all will love that. Y'all will like that. There is a lot of nostalgia, too. <coughs> Excuse me. This beer's getting me. There's a lot of nostalgia in Halloween Ends, back to the original 78 film. Now, I want to say one thing that is really wrong with Halloween Ends. If, and it's not a problem. You know, they said going into this trilogy, each movie was going to feel different. Halloween Ends feels nothing like Kills. It feels nothing like 2018. It, it's like, uh, wh one thing that I was a little disappointed in was, it, it the, the beginning of this film, very intense, by the way. It is a good opening. It is intense. But it doesn't shed much light on the end of Kills and what happened. You know what I mean? With the death of Karen and... You know, we know Michael, had, he just vanished after that, and, you know. So they don't shed much light on that, but I'm going to say it. I did not hate this movie. You don't have to agree with me. I actually enjoyed it. I think it was somewhat refreshing, too. Like, we've done some crazy things, went some crazy places with the Halloween franchise. And this, I don't think, is any different. I think people these days, especially, they just hate something to hate something. Yes, it's not your traditional Halloween movie. You know what I'm saying? It, it is different, but this movie was had it was, had way better acting than Kills did. <laughs> and I'll give you one spoiler, which I don't think y'all will care about. We don't have to hear "Evil Dies Tonight" every ten freaking seconds. You know what I'm saying? So that was refreshing. The acting's better though. I think the directing was better. Like I said, the cinematography, the score by John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, it was good, of course. They're not going to let us down with that. And uh, the opening was was pretty intense, emotional. Um, but the conclusion, the ending, the movie is called Halloween Ends. And I'm not going to tell you guys about the ending. I will say for me personally, the final battle between Michael and Lori, although it was a good battle, it was short, and I just wasn't completely satisfied with it. I don't hate it, but I'm not completely satisfied. There's things I would have done different, and we're going to talk about that in a separate video. So, you know, does Lori die? Does Michael die? Do they both die? I'm not going to tell you guys. And if you haven't seen the film, you can answer that question in the bottom. Do you think they both died? Do you think one or the other made it? And for the people who have seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the ending and if the title Halloween Ends fits. Did you like the Corey character? You know, did you like the radio talk host? You know, it, there's just so much to talk about in this movie and I could spend 45 minutes talking about it. But, no spoilers, I just want everyone's, you know, opinion, and try not to spoil too much in the comments, just, you know, speak your opinion on if you liked it, if you didn't. My next Halloween Ends video, it's going to be Halloween Ends, what I like and what I dislike, and that's where all the spoilers will be. It's not going to be a spoiler review, it's just going to be what I like and what I dislike. And then the video I have after that, which I literally just finished working on the thumbnail for, it's uh, Halloween Ends, Did You Like Corey Cunningham? Because I got a lot of things I want to say about Corey. I might put that out first. We'll see how uh, the next few days go. But that's how I feel about Halloween Ends. I don't think it's horrible. I don't think it's, you know, great. I think it's purchase worthy. I'm going to, of course, get it to add to the collection. You know what I mean? And before I go, y'all already know we're going to chug this beer. So cheers, everybody. Yes, yes. But spooky season is among, among us. I'm going to be putting out more videos, you know what I'm saying. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, coming at you from Addiction TV.